Hello, I'm Mrs. Lansdale, and today we're going to continue with character traits. Do you remember in a previous lesson, we made a ABC chart of all these character traits? We learned a lot of new words, a lot of new vocabulary. We talked about a character trait as something that is defined over time. For example, if we're going to use the word honest, if I look at you, I can't tell if you're honest or dishonest, but over time, I can look at you and you can prove your actions over time of being honest or dishonest. Okay, so today we're going to be working with character traits, but we're going to choose one character trait to improve on. It's always great to build your character. If somebody says you have great character, you probably have a lot of positive character traits. So we're going to take one character trait today. We're going to set some goals and we're going to improve on it. We can do that because we've got some time. We're at home. We can really take care of ourselves and think about how can I improve? Do you remember talking about some character traits in some previous lessons? And remember with the silhouette head, you chose five to seven character traits about yourself that you thought define you? Okay, so those were all positive character traits. Then we took three of those character traits in a different lesson and we turned boring sentences into very long and detailed sentences with our table and legs. So today we're going to choose a character trait and we're going to set some goals to improve. So if you look at my list paper, I have some in the student resource section. You, if you have some of this kind of paper, you could use that just sitting around the house. Or you could just use blank paper, that's fine too. But when we look at what we're gonna to do today, we're going to select a character trait and we're gonna make goals on how do I improve that character trait in myself. So let's get started and I'll go first. So I'm just gonna use just plain green paper. All right, you might have just plain paper at your house too. And that might be something that you want to use. Okay, so I'm just gonna use plain green paper. All right, when we look at this and I look at everything up here, all the character traits, and I'm gonna choose something to improve on. It doesn't mean that I'm bad in that character trait. It just means it's a character trait that I'm gonna put forth some effort and I'm going to improve on it. So, let me look. Hmm. Now I have my whole family home right now, so what might I can do at home? Hmm. I think I'm going to choose the character trait of being kind or kindness, okay? I'm gonna do that. There are some things I can do right now to improve on that character trait. So let me write that down. I'm gonna choose kindness. Can you see that on the chart? Perfect, kindness. All right, so next I'm gonna say, okay, mm, what can I do right now to improve being kind? Hmm. Let me think for a minute to be kind. Well, okay, so my mom is 76 years old and she lives three hours from me. And so it warms her heart when we FaceTime her and I should do it more often. And that's gonna be one of my goals. And it's being kind. When we think about being kind, we always have to think of What's the other person's reaction to something I did that's kind? That's what warms our heart. 
So kindness. So I think I am going to um, maybe FaceTime my mom. I'm going to change colors here. So I'm going to FaceTime my mom. So my first goal will be FaceTime my mom. Now, I don't know how often. I'll have to think about that. Okay. But that's what I'm going to do. Okay. That's being kind. Okay. So what else could I do? I'll switch colors. What else could I do to be kind? Um, okay. Well, all three of my kids are home doing online learning. Maybe I could provide more encouragement. That would be kind. Okay. That's a good idea. I could do that. All right, so my second goal will be to provide more encouragement. I know that it's kind of tough. Okay, provide more encouragement to all of my kids and even my husband, certainly. Okay, so what might be another one? Um, oh, I know. Maybe I'm going to write some handwritten notes to um, some of my friends and send them in the mail. Um, there's nothing more joyful than to get a little note in the mail. So I'm going to do that to my, my good friends. That's a goal I have. And that certainly is being kind. All right, so I'm going to do handwritten notes. Okay, just making a list, not writing sentences. Okay, let me have one more. Um, so I'm going to FaceTime my mom, provide more encouragement, handwritten notes, and let's see, what else could I do? do um i know smile more often have you noticed when you smile what does somebody else do i know they smile right back at at you don't they yes yeah, smiles are contagious you're right so I, I like that i'm gonna try to smile um, more often That's perfect. Do you know what that reminds me of? Have you ever read the book, um, Because Amelia Smiled? It is a great book. If you're looking for an online book to read, Because Amelia Smiled. Amelia in this book, she smiles at her neighbor all the time. Well, it becomes contagious. And then the smile is passed on and passed on and passed on. It's such a great story for smiling. All right, smile more often. Kind of gives us a little thing to think about that you should smile more often, right? Yeah, and laugh too. It's good for you. All right, so if I go back to my goals, and so I'm choosing for myself that I'm gonna work on the character trait of being kind or kindness, okay? My goals to improve on that character trait are I'm gonna FaceTime my mom, I'm gonna provide more encouragement to my family, I'm gonna write some handwritten notes, and I'm going to smile more often, all right? So when we look at those, those are my goals. So. Let's think of yours. Let's think of yours. Let's do like a we do together. And what could be another one that we choose? Let's work on it together. Okay. Let me trade here. All right. So when I look at this, this is also in the student resource section. In case you'd like to have a list with some pictures. All right. That's in the student resource section too. But I think since we're home with our families, I think a good character trait to work on is being fair or 
fairness, okay? So the first part that I was thinking about, and you're gonna help me in a little bit, is taking turns. If you're playing games right now, taking turns is pretty important, right? Yeah, we have to know who goes first, who goes second, who goes third. But if you have younger siblings, brothers or sisters, and they don't know this, you might have to teach them, okay? So being fair means taking turns. Can you think of other ways to be fair? Hmm, let's think. Other ways to be fair. Yeah, those are good. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. Someone said we have to play by the rules. Yeah, being fair, we have to play by the rules. And that means the rules that are established before you start the game. Have you ever played a game with someone and they change the rules in the middle of the game? Yeah, me too. And then it becomes not fair. And we don't want that. We don't want that. So play by the rules that you establish at the beginning of the game. What about maybe you really need to think about your actions. When it comes to being fair, you have to think about yourself and your actions because your actions impact others. Remember long ago we talked about being mindful and we talked about, remember, that's keeping track of yourself, being aware, being aware of your body, what's it doing, your breath that you take, being aware of your surroundings. This too is part of mindfulness. Think about your actions because your actions impact others. Okay, good. What's another goal we could have for being fair? Oh, okay, okay, maybe. We can't blame others. Have you ever been around someone who they blame everybody for everything and it's something that they did? We do not want to be that person. Sometimes we make mistakes and we have to own up to them. And sometimes there's consequences and that's okay. But we can't blame others for our mistakes because that's not being fair. Yeah, yeah. What's something else for being fair? What do you think? Oh, we can't play favorites. If you're playing with your best friend, they can't have more turns, right? Everybody has to be equal. Perfect. Yes. So this could be something that you're like, oh, Mrs. Lansdell, this is going to be my goal because I need to work on being fair. Okay. Maybe you come up with something a little bit different. Maybe not all our ideas. Okay. Maybe you like the kindness. Maybe that's something easy that you could work on now. Okay, but maybe there's something else up here that you see that you would like to work on as a character trait to improve your character. Choose that, that's perfectly fine. So boys and girls, if you were in Mrs. Lansdell's class, I would have you make a list and I would have you list your goals to improve a character trait. Now, if your teacher has a different assignment for you, that's perfectly fine. Please feel free to do that. The idea from today's lesson is really to pick a character trait to improve on. We can grow, we can learn from each other, but if you set goals and you write them down, chances of, for you to accomplish them are so much greater. All right, boys and girls, good luck setting your goals and have a great day.